Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights, Archdiocese of Detroit. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is December the 1st. In my 25 years here at St. Malachi Catholic Church, we have always had a number of youth groups, one for the high school and one for the junior high. The high school youth group uh, is called Rock, Rely on Christ the King, and the junior high group is called Frog, Forever Relying on God. We've had many directors of those youth groups over the years, but all of them, the ones in the past and the ones now, have always told the kids the same thing. You can make a big difference in the faith of others by practicing the faith yourself. That your willingness to pray, and especially to come to Mass, can bring other family members closer to Jesus Christ. Well, that is the story of today's saint, Saint Ansanus. Saint Ansanus was a, born a Roman citizen and as a boy became a Christian. Now, it was troubling times being a Christian in the pagan Roman Empire in the uh, late 200s. And Ansanus had to flee. Uh, his parents were killed. And he was an orphan, and of course, there was no government programs for orphans back then. You were on your own. And at the age of about 14 years old, he found himself in the, in the town of Siena. This is the same Siena that a thousand years later, the great St. Catherine Siena is going to be born into. But this is a thousand years earlier. Siena is a much smaller town. And when Insanus arrives there, he can't find any other fellow Christians. So he goes out to the middle of the square and begins to preach. Preach that salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone. And it turns out he was very good at it. And a few people came to believe, and then a few more. And he told them they had to be baptized. Well, there were no priests in the town. So when Santa said, I will baptize you myself. And it is true, in an emergency, anyone can perform a baptism. And so when Santa did, he baptized these people in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And they would gather together, and when he would lead them in prayers, and he would tell them all that he knew about the faith so that they could grow in that faith. And the faith began to spread through the little town of Siena. Well, news of this reached the local Roman governor at the beginnings of the Diocletian persecution, and soldiers were sent to arrest poor young Ansanus. He was arrested and eventually beheaded and a martyr of the church.